So that's uh, that's an interesting point. You know, I, I didn't hear it first from you. I heard it first from others. You teach it more effectively. But the idea is that the predator is always looking for the easiest prey, meaning uh, somebody that's going to be a real pushover, somebody that's going to be submissive, obedient, weak, fearful, likely to panic, likely to be unarmed. Unaware. And unaware, okay. likely to be unarmed. Uh, they're not looking to prove themselves against the toughest SOB on the block. They're looking for easy prey. And you can send a message out that says, I'm not easy prey, just by having your head somewhere besides in your phone or between your buttocks. And Situational awareness is a tool, and it can be used to deter, de detract, and as a deterrence, for, I'll give you an example as a deterrence. So situational awareness is a deterrence. We were overseas, I was on the job, and uh, we're overseas and we're doing this one, I'm on an assignment where there's four of us in a vehicle. We pull up to this, the side of this road and uh, we all get out of the vehicle and we all turn to our left because we get this feeling that these folks across the street are looking at us. So there they are uh, observing us, observing them. When they saw that we all saw them, we eliminated the element of surprise. They put their, their eyes down and they walked away because anything they may have been planning has now been disrupted because of our awareness of that scenario. So that's the a usage, a usage of situational awareness as a deterrent. Situational awareness is the currency that buys you time to solve the tactical problem.